I got tired of Whitney Houston back in the early 90s because at the nightclub I worked at back in the 80s, we played the hell out of Whitney Houston. I just couldn't stand to listen to her anymore. But I tell you, it's now 2015. Whitney Houston's passed, been passed away for, for well, gosh, in 2009, I think she passed away. Maybe it was 2010. I forgot the year. But listening to this song again, it really it's nice to hear her voice again. She had a fantastic voice. It goes without saying. The woman had soul. Whitney Houston at number 31 on my fantasy playlist the week of January 31st, 1993, up from 36. I'm every woman, and she sure was. It was off the bodyguard, bodyguard soundtrack. Now let's move back a little bit in time. Back in the fall of 1978, one of my favorite songs. And I remember when I first heard this song, it was a Memphis radio station. Gosh, it was a cold. Saturday afternoon, around November 78, <clears throat> I heard the song I'm Every Woman, the Shaka Khan version. Minus Rufus, Post Rufus, it was written by Ashford and Simpson. They wrote some big hits for Diana Ross, called, including Ain't No Mountain High Enough and Remember Me. That was back in 1970. They wrote those for Diana Ross. Ashford and Simpson had a hit of their own in 1985 called Solid. And uh, the song... The original version produced by Arif Mardin. You gotta remember that name. One of the biggest producers ever, Arif Mardin. Arif Mardin took the Bee Gees out of mothballs <clears throat> and put them back on the map in the disco era. He helped rescue the Bee Gees from oblivion when he produced the main course album. The main course album featuring huge comeback singles for the Bee Gees, Jive Talking, Nice on Broadway, Fanny, Be Tender With My Love, all produced by Arif Mardine. Let's move up 15 years later to 1993. I Will Always Love You was just a stupendous, gosh, dog it. One of the biggest hits that ever came out. I don't even remember how long it was number one on Billboard's Hot 100. Maybe it was two or three weeks. The Dolly Parton record. Did she sing that at the Super Bowl? In 92 or 93? Well, don't quote me on that. Well, I'm Every Woman came right on the heels of I Will Always Love You. As a matter of fact, I Will Always Love You, I believe, was still at number one. It was at the summit of the Hot 100 when I'm Every Woman was put out as a single. I'm Every Woman did a lot better than the original version by Shaka Khan. Went to number four on Bill, on uh, Billboard's Hot 100 for Whitney Houston. International hit for Whitney Houston. Top ten hit. I'm Every Woman for Whitney Houston. And Belgium, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, Sweden, the Netherlands, and of course, Great Britain. Whitney Houston. Miss you, Whitney. Miss your voice. Man, that was a gift from God right there. Man, Whitney Houston at number 31. Up five notches for 36. I'll, I'll, well, I'm Every Woman. Fantasy Playlist, January 31st, 1993.